Right, as you may have guessed, this hasn't just been, been done randomly. There's a, um, a process, there's something we're heading towards, and the fact that I've managed to get zeros at the front of these two is actually significant, but we're not quite where we want to head. And to do that, we need to understand what we mean by what's called row echelon form. And a matrix which is in row echelon form has each row having more leading zeros than the row before it. Than the row before it. Okay, so this matrix isn't quite in row echelon form. The second line has more leading zeros than the first line, but the third line has, doesn't have more than the second line. So if this 19 was a zero, then we'd be in row echelon form because you'd have no zeros at the start of that, one at the start of that, two at the start of that. So once you get into the form where you've got more zeros at the start of each row than there was at the start of the row before, then you're in row echelon form. So let's take the matrix that we had, that we finished up with before. So negative 2, negative 5, 3, negative 3, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 3, 0, minus 19, 11, minus 5. And we're going to try and make this 19 equal to 0. And the way we're going to make that 19 equal to 0 is obviously we have to replace row 3, so I'm going to take the old row 3 and I'm going to subtract 19 thirds of row 2. Okay, so 19 thirds of that will give me um, 19, and when I subtract it from that it'll get me down to 0 here. So the whole aim of this thing is to get 0 in this point here. Okay, often a lot of mucking around to do it, but <coughs> this is what's involved in doing it. And you have to use row 2, I can't use row 1, because if I use row 1, I'd have mucked up that 0 there. So I have to use row 2. So the only row that I'm replacing is row 3. So row 1 and row 2 stay exactly the same, but row 3 has to change. So 0 minus 19 thirds of 0 is 0. Negative 19 minus 19 thirds, which is effectively negative 19, so negative 19 minus negative 19 is 0. Then we're going to have 11 minus 19 over 3, because 1 times this is 19 over 3. So it's 33 over 3 minus 19 over 3 is 14 over 3. And we're going to have negative 3, lots of negative 19 over 3 is just 19 over 3. So it's just 19. So, so negative 5 <laughs> take away 19 is 14. Sometimes it's a bit confusing, but you follow it through as long as you're logically consistent, it's okay. And this matrix is now in what's called row echelon form, because there's more zeros at the front of each row than in the previous row. And just before I go on and use this, I need to define a term, and that term is pivot. And the pivot is the first non-zero element in each row. Okay, so the pivot of the top row is negative 2, the pivot of the second row is a negative 3, and the pivot of the third row is 14 over 3. And once you have a matrix in row echelon form, it's fairly easy to solve your system of simultaneous equations.